questions now in this video you will learn perimeter and area of some plane figures okay now first is let us learn area of triangle okay area of triangle is calculated as half the product of the length of the base and the height of the triangle okay so, say you draw any, any triangle, triangle A, B, C. Now, area of triangle, area of triangle is, you know, half into base into height, okay? So, now you have to identify which is the base and which one is the height, okay? Now, you come here. Height of a triangle is the length of a perpendicular drawn from the vertex opposite to the base on the base. Okay. Now again you see here. Any side of a triangle can be considered as its base and the perpendicular drawn from the vertex opposite to its base can be considered as, as its height. Now we know half into base into height. Now which one you are going to consider the base? So, any side, this AB or AC or BC, any side can be considered as the base. It can be AC also, AB also, BC also. But the height, how to identify the height? Now, if you are considering AC to be the base, okay, then opposite to this base, there is a vertex, okay. If you consider BC also, opposite to this base, there is a vertex A. Opposite to the base AC, there is a vertex B. So, opposite to the base, from that vertex, if a perpendicular is drawn to that base, that length is considered as the height of the triangle. Okay? Now, suppose again this ABC. If you consider this AB to be the base, then opposite there is a vertex. From there, from the vertex to the base, if a perpendicular is drawn, that means BC is the height of the triangle ABC. Okay, so I hope you understood that. Now we will learn another formula of calculating area of triangle. That is Heron's formula. Okay, so the area of triangle can also be expressed as root over of S, S minus A, S minus B, S minus C, where S is equal to half into A plus B plus C, where A and B and C are the length of the sides of the triangle. That means, sides of the triangle will be given to you, A, B and C, okay? Now, S is, S is calculated as half of the sides of the triangle, okay? Now, remember this Heron's formula, very important formula. Heron's formula. So, in this case also, Heron's formula, you calculate area of triangle. Okay. So, area of triangle is, again, you can calculate as S of S minus A, S minus B and S minus C. Where A, B, C are the sides of the triangle okay and also this s is calculated as half of all the addition of the sides of the triangle okay now using this formula we will solve exercise problem now question number one first question given sides of three sides of triangle a is equal to 18 b is equal to 24 centimeter c is equal to 30 centimeter now you have to find the area now all of you know area of triangle is half into base into height okay now base can be considered in any side okay so from here you will select any value with whether you can consider 30 or 24 or 18 any distance you can calculate but the problem is with the height height is not given to you only given is like this okay say this is your ABC triangle and this is your side A, B and C. A is given 18 centimeter. That means distance of AB is given 
AC is a suppose 24 centimeter and BC is say 30 centimeter. Okay, you know the base but you do not know the height. So in this case you cannot use this formula. Okay, until and unless height is given. Now what you can use is another method of calculating the area is Heron's formula. Okay, we are going to use this formula. Now first we have to calculate S. S is half of A plus B plus C. 18 plus 24 plus 30. Okay. So when you calculate you will get. Seventy two divided by two. Two three is a six. Two six is a twelve. So thirty six centimeter. Okay. Now you have found out S. Now you will put in the area of triangle formula. Area of triangle is equal to root over of S S minus A S minus B and S minus C. So S is thirty six. Okay, S is 36. What is your A? Your A is 18. Similarly, S is 36 minus B. Your B is 24. And again, 36 minus C is 30. Okay. Now, you calculate and then the final answer you will get is Final answer, when you calculate, you will get is 216 centimeter square. Remember, area is always in square, whether centimeter or meter square, okay? It's going to be in square. Don't, don't mistake this. Now, you see here how it came centimeter also see. You know, area of triangle is half into base into height, okay? Now, half into your base will be in centimeter, Base, suppose it's given, unit is given centimeter. And also height also will be in centimeter. So, centimeter into centimeter will give me centimeter square. Okay, so area is always calculated in square. Okay. So, I hope this is clear. Now, all these are same type of question. So, you can solve all this using Heron's formula. Okay. Now you go to question number two. Question number two also. Sides of triangle are given. 51, 52 and 53. Find each of the following. Area of the triangle. Again here also same thing you are going to use Heron's formula. Okay. Heron's formula you are going to apply here because all the three sides are given. Now I will solve the problem number B. The length of the perpendicular on the 52 centimeter side of the triangle. Now problem number 2. Area. I will not show this. You know how to find Heron's formula. Area of triangle. Okay. So after calculating you will get 1170 centimeter square. Okay. First part is done. Now part number 2. The length of the perpendicular on the 52 centimeter side of the triangle. See. You have drawn the triangle, okay? Sides 51 centimeters. Say this ABC. Say this is your A side, AB. You are considering this 51 centimeter. Other side is say, suppose this is your considering B to B 52 centimeter. That means AC distance is 52 centimeter and this distance is 53 centimeter. I am just assuming, okay? So, any side can be considering considered the base. Okay. Any side can be considered a base. But here particularly it's given the length of the perpendicular on the 52 centimeter side of the triangle. So 52 centimeter. Okay. So that means they're asking the length of the perpendicular on the 52 centimeter. That means this perpendicular. It is drawn from the opposite side of the base of the vertex to the, okay, to the base. So, this perpendicular distance they are asking. So, this perpendicular distance means, is this the height of the triangle, okay? They are simply telling you perpendicular. It means the height of the triangle. Now, you have to find the height of the triangle. 
because you know once the perpendicular is drawn to the b to the this side then that means this is your base ac is going to be your base okay now we know how to find height using heron's formula there is no height okay in the formula there is no height only in area of triangle only in this formula you are going to find height half into base into height okay you know half into base in this case your base is going to be 52 cm height you still doesn't know this is unknown to you so leave it like that but what you know is you know area of this triangle abc from you have calculated from heron's formula so 1170 cm square okay now you cross multiply and solve for each 2 is there no this is multiply so 2 if it goes up then this is in I will do it nicely 52 1 into 52 52 divided by 2 cm into each okay take this 2 upside or you can cancel this both. If you cancel then 2 to the 4. 2 6 the 12. Okay. Now I need only H. This is multiply. So take this 26 the other side. It will become 26 centimeter. Isn't it? So 26 centimeter is equal to H. Now centimeter square divided by centimeter. This square and this square will get cancelled. Okay, now you solve for this. Divide. Now solve from 2. 2 1 is a 2. 2 3 is a 6. 2 5 is a 10. 2 8 is a 16. 2 5 is a 10. Okay. Now 5 85 divided by 13. Again it can be reduced by 13. 13 1 is a 13. 13 4 is a 52. 6 carry. And 13, 5 is 65. So your answer will be 45 centimeter is your height. Remember, height is always in one unit only. That is centimeter or meter like that. Okay, not in square. So 45 centimeter will be your height. So I hope this question is clear to you. Now question number 3. Same type of question. Sides are given area using Heron's formula. You can find out. Now this time the length of the perpendicular on the shortest side of the triangle. Okay. Now see sides are given. When you calculate using the Heron's formula area of triangle will be 96 cm square. I am not showing that. Now coming to the second part. Now this time we have to find the length of the perpendicular on the shortest side of the triangle. Okay. Shortest side. That means you draw the, say you draw the triangle. Say 20 centimeter, 16 centimeter, and 12 centimeter. Okay, I have to find the length of the perpendicular on the shortest side of the triangle. Now, from here, the shortest side is going to be 12 centimeter, isn't it? 12 centimeter is the shortest side. See, it's 12. These are greater than 12. So, that means opposite to this vertex, there will be a perpendicular. That means this length calculated on 12 cm. Now this time, this will be your height and this is going to be your base. Okay. So we know area is equal to half into base into height. So half into base is 12. Height you don't know. But you know the area that is 96 cm square. Okay. So you cut this to 6 the 12. Okay. 12 centimeter okay now yeah i need only height height will be 96 centimeter square divided by 6 centimeter this and this cancel okay 6 1 is 6 6 1 is 6 3 carry 6 6 is 36 so each is going to be your 16 centimeter okay so i hope this is clear to you now question number four i'm not going to solve very easy Find the area of a triangle in each of the following cases. Base and height is given. So directly you can use the formula half into base into height. Okay, Very easy this too. Again here, find the height of the triangle in each of the following case. This time base is given and area is given. So how to 
solve your base is 12 centimeters given and also area is 36 centimeters given you know what do you know related with the base your formula is area is equal to half into base into height okay area is 36 centimeter square is equal to half into base is 12 centimeter height you do not know you are asked to find the height okay to 6 12 so height will be 36 centimeter square divided by 6 centimeter 6 6 is 36 hs is equal to 6 centimeter it is a very easy problem okay you will be able to solve all this See, same a b b c d all very easy similarly question number six also area is given and altitude is given altitude is it is the c and the height altitude means it is height okay don't don't get confused with that height is your altitude altitude is your height Question number 6. Area is given 67.2 and height is given. I have to find the base. So, area is equal to half into base into height. Area is 67.2 centimeter square is equal to half into base into height is 12 centimeter. Okay, cancel this to 6 to 12. I need base. Now, 67.2 centimeter divided by 6 centimeter okay now you see here here it comes a decimal point now in order to remove the decimal point if you want to remove two then how do you do if it, it this have to go this side isn't it then only decimal point will be removed if it goes to the right side that means you have to multiply with 10 okay here only going at one place so 10 when you multiply something, you have to divide also with the same thing. You cannot just simply multiply like that. So, 67.2 divided by 6, here centimeter will be left, into 10 divided by 10. Okay? 10 divided by 10. That means 10 divided by 10, cancel means it will be 1 only. Okay? It does not, it should not hamper. You cannot simply multiply on top like that. Okay. So now 67.2 into 10. Point will go shift that side. So it will become 672. Point 0 which is equal to 672 only. Divided by 6 tens are 60. Okay. Now cancel this. 2 3 is a 6. 0. 2 3 is a 6. 2 3 is a 6. 2 6 is a 12. I am doing this for easier calculation. Okay. Then again, it will be 3 tens 30. 3 1 the 3, 3 2 is a 6. Then cancel 2. 2 5 is a 10. 2 5 is a 10. It will be 2 6 is a 12. So, 56 divided by 5 centimeter. Okay. So, 56 divided by 5. 5 11 is 55 isn't it 5 11 is 1 carry point 0 if you keep in point then if you want to keep in decimal then point 0 then 5 2 is 10 11.2 centimeter okay so i hope it is clear to you till question number 6